it's Bree from Red Arrow Industries and today I'm going to show you a quick way to remove and merge color correction in Avid Media Composer with the Symphony option. With a tight deadline I actually started color correcting a fine cut of this video. Now my editor has passed along the final version and it's ready for me to add the final touches. Since most of the shots in the final version match my fine cut, I could easily go ahead and merge my fine cut color correction to the final sequence. However, I'm not sure what all has changed, or if any temporary color correction has been placed on the new shots by the editor. So for safety, I want to remove all the temporary color corrections from the editor, but I want to make sure none of these additional effects in the timeline get removed. So what I'm going to do is hop over to my color correction mode, and in this current middle window, I'm going to right click, go down to remove correction, and you want to make sure the types of color correction you're working with are selected. Avid usually has segments turned off, so if you need them, go ahead and turn them on and hit OK. As you can see, my entire timeline is now clean, but none of these additional effects have been removed, which is exactly what I'm looking for. Since I've already color corrected the majority of these clips in the fine cut, I'm just going to merge them to the final version so I don't have to start from scratch. But I also don't want to manually take each fine cut color correction copy it into a bucket and bring it over. So to save me some time, I'm going to go back to my edit mode. I'm going to place this color corrected sequence in my source window and opening my update sequence in the timeline and record monitor. Going back into color correction, I'm going to right click back into that current window again, but instead of hitting remove correction, I'm going to hit merge correction. Again, make sure the type of color corrections you're working with are selected. Click the In Case of Conflict drop-down menu and hit Prefer Source because we're taking from our source window, hence why we put our color corrected sequence there. We could easily have skipped this step because we already removed color correction from the final sequence. There would be no two color corrected shots conflicting with one another, but it's a good rule of thumb when merging two sequences with color together. We're going to hit OK. As you can see, the matching color correction from our fine cut has transferred over seamlessly. It's great because I can easily see what is new and lets me move on with my work by saving me a lot of time. That's about it. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. If you have any other ideas for tutorials, please comment below and we'll try to make some more videos. Also be sure to check us out on Facebook at Red Arrow Industries or online at redarrowindustries.com. Thanks. Bye.